So the scheme is that each one of these people will have their name and their picture larger and in color the way you see it on the slide here when I roll over their face. But when I'm not rolled over their face, it'll be minimized, it will be black and white, and their name will not be on the screen. One of the things that's a good idea here is to go to the Arrange drop-down menu on the Home tab and turn on the Selection pane so we can guarantee the text boxes, text box 17, uh, 15, 16, and 17 right here, are under their respective pictures so we can slide those out of the way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is click on the slide and use the keyboard shortcut Control D to duplicate it. We're going to take each of their names, click on each of the different text boxes holding down Shift to select them all, and then slide their names up underneath their faces, something like that. And let's go in and grab their faces and we are going to hold down both the shift and the control key at the same time. By holding down the shift and the control key at the same time as I scale this down, you see there it keeps her picture uh, in proportion, but it also scales it down from the center point. And that's important because I don't want to have to scoot this around. So again, click on the next woman, hold down both control and shift at the same time, and scale it down and pay attention to the little marker there letting you know that you've scaled it down as far as the previous one. Then click on the last guy's picture here, control shift, squeeze that down so that it's reduced in size. And let's make these black and white. So here, let's go ahead and go to my picture tools, my formatting up here at the top of the screen. And let's change the picture's color to be black and white, change its color to be black and white, change its color to be black and white. So that's their original state, and that's their final state. Original, final. All right, let's make it happen. So now what I need is a slide that looks like this one, except it's got that uh, Susan McNamara full color with her name slid down. So I'm going to go to slide two, control D to duplicate it. Click on Susan McNamara's face here. I will format her so that she's back to normal color saturation. And again, control shift and zoom it up just like that to put it back in position. And let's go find text box 15, which is her name and slide it down into position. Now again, go to slide number two, control D to duplicate, click on this woman's face, control shift, hold down the uh, control and shift keys as you scale up, change her color, whoops, change her color using the format tab back to full 100% saturation and click on text box 16 and slide it down and into place. Go back to slide number two, control D, click on the guy's face, control shift to scale him up, change the coloration of the picture back to 100% saturation, and click on text box 17, and slide text box 17 back down into place. So now I have, and I can go back to slide number one and hide this one. So I'll go up here to the slideshow tab and hide this slide. It was just for reference. It's not actually going to be a slide that we show. And now what we're going to do is go through these slides and make sure all the slides have the morph transition on them. So slides two through five, select all of those, go to the transitions tab and add the morph transition there. And we want each of their pictures when I roll on top of it to go to their respective slides. So when I click on Susan McNamara's picture and I go up here to the um, insert tab, I'm going to insert an action on this picture. When I mouse over her picture, it'll be a hyperlink to the slide where her picture is in full color, which is slide number five. So I go to slide, 
number five and click OK and click OK. And when I roll over this woman's picture, insert an action, hyperlink to slide number four. And when I roll over this guy's picture, action, hyperlink to slide number three. Now if I had done this in a different order, I could have done that series one time, but let's just go ahead and repeat these. On slide number three, if I roll on top of this woman's picture, it should add an action of a hyperlink to slide number five. And when I roll over this woman's picture, I should have an action on mouse over to hyperlink to slide number four. Looks like I might have messed those up. Yep. On mouse over, go to slide number three. And on mouse over, go to slide number four. I don't want to have to click on these. I want to be able to roll over them very easily. All right, so going back to slide four. All right, click on this woman's picture, action on mouse over, hyperlink to slide number five. And on this guy's picture, action on mouse over, hyperlink to slide number three. And on the last one, on slide number five, if I roll over this woman's picture, the mouse over effect hyperlinks to slide number four. And if I mouse over this guy's picture, the mouse over hyperlink is to slide number three. Okay, let's see whether it works or not. I just press the F5 key on the keyboard. F5 shows the presentation. As you can see, it starts on that slide with none of them being in color and none of them having their names up on the screen. And I will take my mouse and hover on top of her picture. There's Rachel. Hover on top of his picture. There's Sam. Hover on top of her picture. Oops. There's Rachel. There's, there you go, Susan. <laughs> you have to be careful about that, right? There's Rachel. There's Susan, and there's Sam. Now, if I hit escape, the only other thing that I'd probably want to do is select all these slides and make that morph transition happen just a little faster. Two seconds for that thing is way too long, so let's go with half a second. That'll be good. All right, so all those slide transitions happen in half a second now. Let's go ahead and see whether it works. Oh, that's much cleaner. That's really nice. So you see there we have the mouse over effect combined with morph to create a really pleasant little uh, drop down, expand, colorize sort of effect.